woman who no longer wants to be exclusive, bro. Who unilaterally changed the terms of your relationship without your permission. Because she didn't come to you and go, you want to break up? Are you sure you don't want this? Because if you don't want this, she didn't do that. She didn't ask you for your permission to break up with you. She just did, bro. She didn't ask you whether you wanted to be with her. She didn't ask you what you wanted. She unilaterally decided to change the terms. She didn't care what you wanted, bro. She didn't. That's the reality of the situation. But I'm going to teach you how to never be in that position again, bro. I'm going to tell you what you do to get out of that position, bro. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. But more importantly, share the video, bro. Y'all keep on telling me that y'all want the channel to blow up and y'all I should get more followers, etc., etc. Man, you got to do your part. Share the video. That being said, let's get straight to it. Women typically decide to unilaterally change the terms for one of three reasons, right? And you probably fall into all three of these categories, but they decide to change the terms for one of three reasons. One, you are being so needy, so disgusting, so atrocious in your appearance and how you show up as a man that she could no longer handle it. So it is a test for you. She is like, OK, I'm about to pull away from this dude and we about to figure out if he going to get it together or if he going to flounder. And I got to move on to the next dude because you showed up needy because you was blown up her phone, blowing her line down, texting her 24 seven, always being the first to reach out. Good morning. this, Good morning. That always at her beck and call, et cetera, et cetera, bro. And guess what that did? That lowered her attraction and it did so over time, bro. Because attraction don't go up or lower. It do that over a span of time. And you did it for so long that she got to the point where she didn't even want to deal with you no more. Reason number two. There is someone else in the picture. And this could stem from reason number one, bro. Honestly, you being such a, uh, as a masculine figure for so long can make her go seek out other Men who masculine figures, because guess what, bro? She a woman, bro. She don't want to be in a relationship with another woman. So when you not acting like a man, what you acting like? You acting like a woman, bro. And if she a feminine woman, that, that repulses her. It turns her off. But there's someone else in the picture. If there's someone else in the picture and she unilaterally decides to change the terms, tell her thank you. Go tell her thank you. Go tell her Kate in the rate told her, told you to tell her thank you, bro. You need me to write a thank you letter? I go do it. I, I got you, bro. Just send me your mail and I'll send it to you, bro. I got you. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand that if a woman is going to move on, if she is going to deal with someone else while she is with you, she is of low integrity. And you don't want to deal with women who are low integrity anyway, bro. And women like that who decide to leave you before they start dealing with somebody else, you should also tell them thank you because at the very least, she had enough integrity to be like, okay, I know I want to deal with this other person, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, let me leave. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about that. That is not your fault. You have no bearing in that. It It is what it is, bro. But number three reason, and it's the reason that too many of you guys, y'all fall into this. Too many of you guys don't understand the ins and outs of this one. And, and when you get this one, when you understand this one, it is, it, it just changes your game, bro. And that is, you weren't providing the leadership that she needed in the relationship, bro. So the thing is, women don't know where they're going and why. Some women do, career driven. Guys ain't really attracted to those women because they're too masculine. Feminine women, the good cat, the women who worth it when you vet them and all of that stuff. Feminine women, they need direction, bro. They need a strong leader. They need a man to lead the way, bro. They need a man who's going to be like, oh, well, what you want to When she go, what you want to eat? You be like, all right, we finna go here. Let's go. Or whatever. And that don't mean you got to be an inflexible asshat. That just means you know what you want and where you're going and why, bro. And so when you come across as masculine and when you come across in this masculine frame and you got this type of leadership, she is naturally going to want to follow that, bro. A woman will leave you, bro. Have you ever heard your mama or some woman you close to talk about? Yeah, every time we go out on a date. 
I got to tell him where we going. I got to tell him what time. I want a man to just tell me what time we going somewhere. Or to tell me, get ready, we going, bro. Guess what? Check it out. So the other day, I was like, I hit up this woman I'm seeing or whatever. I was like, hey, on Sunday, get dressed, be ready. We going out. I'm picking you up at 6. Don't wear heels. Right? And I just told her just like that. There was nothing else to it. So then she like, tell me where we going, where we going. I'm like, don't worry about it. Just do what I said, right? That is the kind of leadership she want. Because now guess what? She wondering all week about where y'all going. She fantasizing. She thinking about you. She want to know, oh, man, I wonder where he taking me. She talking to her girls. She doing this. She doing that. Like, now you taking up mental space in her brain. And what I keep telling y'all, bro, when you take up mental space in a woman, man, her attraction level go up, bro. Because mental space is key. Your attention is currency. Now she wants your attention because you're taking up mental space. Now she wants to see you. Now she's not unilaterally changing the terms of y'all relationship. She want to be exclusive. She's not changing y'all exclusivity. She's not doing none of that because guess what? You the leader. You're in control of that. You're supposed to be the person in control of the relationship. You are the gatekeeper to that, bro. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Men are the gatekeepers to relationships and marriage, bro. Women should be the ones asking you for exclusivity. Women should be the ones asking you to be all of that. So when she is doing the opposite of that, what does that tell you? That tells you she does not see your value. That tells you you are not showing up the way you're supposed to as a man. That tells you she thinks less of you than you should think of yourself, bro. And guess what you should repay her with? Your absence, your silence, walking away, bugging up, becoming better, doing you, bro. That's what you should repay her with. You should not repay her with begging her to be exclusive when she does not want to be. You should not pay her back with being perturbed about the fact that she wants to, doesn't want to be exclusive with you no more, bro. That just makes you look weak, needy. Because now you just need this woman. You need to be in a relationship. Well, you need to be exclusive. Nah, the woman never came to me. Oh, well, I don't want to be in an exclusive relationship. I want to be open to see people. You know what, baby? You probably right. Okay, we could try that. You probably right. Did you just hear how I responded to that? Guess what that's going to make her think about later down the line? Damn, that was too easy. Do he got other women he's seeing? Guess what? Competition anxiety. Boom, that start. Now she chasing you. Even though she asked for exclusivity and we all know they just go off of their emotions. So now she might even double back and be like, hey, I changed my mind. I, that was stupid of me. And, and and it's about how you appear as a man, bro. When you showing up the right way, things like this tend to happen. When you're not showing up the right way, you get that speech. The I don't want to be exclusive speech. So get it together, my boy. Like, comment, share. Let's go, man. It's your boy, Kaden Rick. I'm out of here.